YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video I have a super exciting video that I have been waiting to film but it's finally here. I'm going to show you what is in this bad boy right here. So I do have an unboxing for this video. I'll have it at the end of this video or in a card and yeah absolutely love it. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier. Bandelier. I do not know how to pronounce that. But it's the Speedy B30 in the Damier Abine print. And this thing is my child. I absolutely love it. I'm not here trying to be like, look at my Louis Vuitton bag. Ooh, but this is a bag that I have been wanting for years. Like, I've always loved Louis Vuitton and I've always loved a Speedy, but I found this exact print when I was a freshman in college, which was back in 2013, and it's 2019. I just now got this bag, so I wanted this bag for six years, okay? And I've worked my butt off. This was like a birthday present from my mom and my dad slash congratulations on getting into master's school and getting your act together. No, not the last part, but... Yeah, like, my mom said that she wanted to do this for me. She wanted to buy me this bag because she knows how long I've wanted it. And I'm super grateful for them. I kept telling them they did not have to do it. But I'm super appreciative and super glad that they did. With all that out of the way, yeah, we'll just get into the bag. But, yeah, so this is it. And, yeah, I really love it. I do have some things on the outside and some of the products that I mentioned, I'll try to link down below if I remember slash I'm not too lazy enough to not do it. But I have this little heart fluffy faux fur keychain. That's important. And I found it on eBay. I thought it would look cute on here. And then I have this little scarf. Did I get this on eBay too? I think I did. But I have it tied in a bow, and there's actually a video that kind of showed how to do this, and I'll have it linked down below if I can find it, because in the middle I have the lock, because I don't really like how it looks if you leave it on here, or I wanted it to be seen on the bag, but I think that's cute how it's in the middle of the bow. I really like that, but that's just me. But, yeah. So, I'm going to get into the bag, and then if there's time, I'll do a review, and if not, then I might do a review, like, later on down the line. But, I do have one of those purse organizers in it, so that's why it looks super structured, even when I carry it, because I hate the way that the Speedies look when they don't have, like, they get that bag sag, is what it's called. That sounds really gross, but... I hate how the Speedies look like that. I definitely wanted mine more structured, so... I have a bag organizer. I actually found mine on Etsy. I will have it linked down below. She's, forget the name of her shop, but she does a bunch of like Louis Vuitton um, inserts. So like for this, not just for this VD, but for the Neverfull and different stuff. And she also, I believe, does custom ones too. So I'll have her little shop linked down below, but... It's red. It matches perfectly with the interior. I don't want to take it actually out of the bag. Just because it kind of was hard to get in there. But, yeah. So, I'll actually start with the zip pocket in the back. That is something that's different with the new Speedies as opposed to the old ones. This used to be a slip pocket. It's now a zip pocket. And the only thing that I keep in here is the little... <laughs> Look at this, how cute! It's so cute! It's a little dust bag. This is what the lock came in and the keys are actually still in there so I just keep that just in case but I just keep that all zipped up in the back so yeah I'll just kind of go around the pockets first and then I'll go in the inside of the bag so on this one pocket what is this oh my gosh hang on my mom's calling me hello hey that my mom called me but while I have it I have my phone in here I really wanted to get a new phone but I do have a new phone case coming because my glitter the glitter kind of fell off of this and then it's kind of yeah but I have the Samsung Galaxy S8 and I actually have like a K2 
comparison of that as opposed to the Apple iPhone 7 and that was when I first got this phone so I was a little biased toward this phone but I definitely want to switch back to Apple like I'm sorry I'm just not a Samsung person I've tried twice now and I just I can't but anyway that's my phone um I was going to say in this back pocket the only thing I have is we had to give a presentation for one of my classes. We had to make like a 10 minute mini lesson and I have my notes on whether the Constitution is a living document or should not be interpreted as a living document. Didn't even need these, I just had them in case. And then like one of the, the other people wanted us to draw like a person on a, with a, uh, Wow, I just had a brain fart. What is this called? Like, when you skydive... A parachute! There we go. That's it. I don't know why. But I have that in there, so... Yeah. Then in this other pocket... Oh, I see receipts. Yep, and that's what this is. Okay. So, let's dive into these. I have a McDonald's receipt for a... Gravy biscuit and a tea. Love those. I have a Chick-fil-A receipt for... Oh, this is so hilarious. I went through there one day and I got like an eight-count nugget meal with fries and a lemonade. And they always ask you if you want sauce. And I said just a bunch of ketchup because we didn't have a bottle of ketchup at that time. And I love to put ketchup on my fries and dip my nuggets in them. And so the guy was like, is four okay? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. So, literally, the rest of the way, like, every step, they're like, you had the eight-count meal with the lemonade and four ketchups? I'm like, why is it so specific that I got four ketchups, but they put it on my receipt, too? I'm, that's just so funny. But, yeah, so, there's my eight-count nugget meal with the four ketchups. What's this? It's when I got the Frosted Key Lime drink. It's pretty good. The restaurant that I work at, we had a Key Lime milkshake, and it tasted a lot better than that. Sorry, Chick-fil-A. And then, oh, I'm going to keep this. This is my movie ticket. Well, it's not really a movie ticket because they don't have tickets, but it's my receipt for when I went to go see Glass in theaters. I absolutely love that movie. And more promos. I have a vlog when I went to go see this. I'll have it linked in the description or in a card. Which is really funny because I also vlogged going to see Split, so I'm keeping that. That's for memories. Memories. Okay. I've got a dry cleaning bill because my mom's been on a Macy's rampage lately and is buying sweaters on there. And every time she buys them, I take them to the dry cleaners for her. So, got that. So, I think that's actually all that I have in the pockets. Let me check. I did have a bunch of mints in here from the, um, oh, wait a minute. I have a dollar. I forgot about that. Yay. Okay, that needs to go in my wallet. You never know what you'll find when you clean out your bag. I did have a bunch of mints in here from when I went to the, um, adult center that I had to do my service learning for. One of the, uh clients in it I guess is what he had like a big bag of mints and he was handing them around to people and then this one lady she was like do you want a mint I said sure and she gave me a handful of them I was like oh okay she said I don't want them so I have and then the guy who had the big bag he also gave me some so I had a bunch of mints but I've already eaten them um okay moving into the big pocket of course I had my pocket constitution this one's a little worse for wear, but, yeah. I got this one at Books A Million. You know, you all know, if you've been around on this channel, that I have a lot of different versions of the Constitution. Well, not versions. They just look different on the outside. But I'm actually going to switch that one out because that one's looking a little tattered. So I have a book in here. I usually don't keep this, but I had a meeting with my, what, the advisory committee that I'm on, we're picking, yeah, I've talked about that in different channels, but I'm basically on the search committee for finding a, 
a new professor at my college, so that's super cool. So I have this book in here. This is James McAvoy's in the movie, and this is on Hulu. And if you're thinking of reading this, let me just read you the back cover. Suitable only for persons of strong constitution. Contains drug use, perversion, murder, corruption, sexism, racism, law enforcement, and a tapeworm. This but I don't get offended easily, so if you do, don't read this. And I've actually heard, it's by, this is Filth by Irvine, Irvin Welsh, I, I think that's how you say his name. And I've heard that his books are risque, and yeah. I mean, I've honestly, the only part for me that's kind of like, whoo, is some of the racism that's in it, because I haven't read a book that has a lot of it. But other than that, I've actually read worse. So, I mean, it's a good book. I'm this far into it. And it's definitely like the movie, but some of the things I'm glad that they changed the main character in the movie because, honestly, some of the things that's in this book I would not want to see James McAvoy do because I love him. He's so pure. I can't believe he was in that movie. Anyway, the next thing that I have in here is this wallet. This is a coach wallet. This is actually my mom's, but we switched because I do have a purple one like this, and I thought the red would look better with my bag. I want to get a new wallet because I don't like these. I had a pen with me in here. Okay. But this just has wallety things like my driver's license, social security card, voter's registration card, and then on the other side, I've got my Starbucks gold card. What's that shiny thing? Oh, my Sephora card that I don't use because I'm obsessed with Ulta because I have a credit card with them and it's really dangerous. Yeah, so I've just got those stuff. Actually, this is going in here. Yep, because I can get a dollar tea from one of the local restaurants and I'll have that. Okay. Next, I have this bad boy. If you've seen, oh, what's on the side of it? If you've seen any of my what's in my bag videos, I have this in all of my purses that it can fit into because this is actually the first Louis Vuitton piece that I've owned and also actually went to the store in Charleston and got this. And look how patinaed it is. I got it in 2014, so it's five years old. But there's some, there's like something spilled on the side. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, yeah. I've just got, what do I have in here? This is pretty much the same as it's been in my other videos. The only thing that's different is I have Carmex in here. It works, but I just don't like the texture. But, yeah. That hasn't changed, so I think I've gone through it in other What's In My Bag videos, so, yeah. Um, I have a big packet of gum. What? Okay, hang on. We'll talk about that later. I have a big packet of gum. This is the 5 Peppermint Cobalt. I got addicted to the... Well, not addicted, but I used to chew extra gum, and then a girl that I worked with at the bookstore chewed this and gave me a piece, and I liked it better, so I chew that now. I like that. Uh, the thing that came with it is my little um, plastic, what do they call these? It's the thing that I had in my days when I had my other jobs, my other fast food job because where I worked we couldn't have jewelry other than right here so I had to go and get a, a plastic retainer. That's what this is. I had to get it in my ear. But I finally got it redone, and I have a little star in there, and that's actually in my split vlog, or not split, my glass vlog, so you can see that. But they gave me this in case I ever need it, and I'm like, I hope I don't, but I have it just in case. You never know, because I had to buy it for $10. And then I have this hand lotion, it's whipped vanilla spice. But I put it on one time before I went to work, and one of the boys said that I smelled like coconut. Like, that isn't coconut, but okay. 
And then I have my sunglasses. These are the Key Australia and Desi Perkins High Key sunglasses. What in the world was that? Hmm, not sure. We are on. I do not know what just happened. Uh, yeah. I love these sunglasses. I actually, I'm going to say something that may seem a little controversial, but oh well. I think that these, especially for the price, like key sunglasses in general, are better made and actually like better at protecting my eyes from the sun than Ray-Bans. That's just my opinion. I love these a lot more than my Ray-Bans. So, yeah. And lastly, I have a pen because I didn't know if we needed to take notes at the meeting and I didn't know if I had a pen with me, but it's a little kitty cat. Yeah, I have that in there. I think, is that everything? I think that's everything. So, yeah, my bag is completely empty now. And one thing I will say about this, the insert it's not moving at all so it's definitely sturdy but yeah I actually think I am going to put the review in a different episode maybe when I episode <laughs> because my life is a TV series actually um, in a different video I'm going to do a review on this bag I think when I've had it a little bit longer but overall right now I love it it's literally a bottomless pit it's super gorgeous absolutely love it even if I'm just wearing uh, a t-shirt and like leggings or gym shorts I feel high class carrying it and yeah it's my absolute baby and my dream bag and I love it and I'm so glad to own it so yeah that was my what's in my bag with my Louis Vuitton bag. I hope that you enjoyed this. Stick around for other videos. Uh, watch the other videos that I have in the cards and at the end of the video and everything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it.